exercise called the magic exercise. Keep on it. I'm an exercise junkie. So, when I saw an ad in Craigslist for a magic exercise, I hurried to the address. I was shown the machine, very beautiful exercise by a strange man with a haunted look in his eyes. I said, how much? He said, $1,000 cash. I said, wow, that, that's a little high. He said, oh, I'm not going to haggle with you. Give me a dollar and get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what a deal. I set it up at home, wondering what was so magic about it. And I, I tried the pedals, but they wouldn't turn. And then I saw a message appearing on the console. Insert desired date. Well, just for fun, I typed in July 25th, 1790. And the pedals worked. So I was pedaling, pedaling away. Then, finally, after about an hour, I stopped and looked up. I wasn't in my house anymore. I was in an open field beside a dirt road. What's going on here? Then I heard a clattering, and a coach drawn by four horses galloped by. And it came to me. The magic exercise was a time machine. I had pedaled back to July 25th, 1790. Well, my first thought was to pedal back to the present time. Then I thought, ah, here's a great opportunity to give these early colonists an idea of what lies ahead in the future. So I hid the exercise book behind a bush, and I stepped out onto the road. And there, galloping along, was a man on horseback. I thumb, and he stopped. He said, forsooth, friend, <coughs> you have a sore thumb? My cousin is a doctor. He'll put leeches on it. He'll put leeches. I want to meet General President George Washington. No problemo, he said anachronistically. Climb on and I'll take you there. So, short time later, I was ushered in to meet George Washington. He looked at me in some surprise. He said, that is a very strange attire you have, sir. I've never seen blue jeans before. I said, I am from the future. I want to tell you about all the marvels that lie ahead. We, we have a vehicle, we call it a car. It's not pulled by horses, and it goes very fast. Indeed, sir. How fast? Well, to be honest, during rush hour on 101, top speed is about eight miles an hour. <laughs> Tush, man, he said. My horse goes thrice that speed. What else? He said, well, we have airplanes. It goes 600 miles an hour. Of course, there is a delay as you pass through security, and they turn an x-ray machine on that looks under your clothes, unless, of course, you're being strip search. Well, President Washington didn't seem to be very enthusiastic about that, so I went on with some other ideas. Frozen TV dinners, TV commercials, credit cards that charge 18% interest. <laughs> I was getting so excited about all these joys that I, I began frothing at the mouth. <laughs> Subprime mortgages. America's funniest home videos. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Washington looked at me in alarm. He said, guards, take this poor deranged man to the insane asylum. But being a fan of old Tarzan movies, I jumped on a drape and I came right through a window. Oh! <laughs> my exercise, and I timed back to the present. I cycled back there. But, my friends, not completely to the present. Because in the year 2012, my exercise blew a tire, and I'm stuck here. So, 
I come to you with this message. You think things are bad now. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs>